Thank you very much, along with Milt Stiegel, Davis Sanchez, and Enoch Mwamba. Fairly entertaining game, over 800 yards of offense, 56 points. But we came into this game wanting to know which of two quarterbacks, Bo <laughs> Levi Mitchell or Jake Mayer, would acquit himself the best. Both had a lot to prove. Davis, which one jumped out at you? Well, I think we all agree that the, just look at the sheer numbers and how this game ended. Jake Mayer would, would win that one. I think we all agree mm. uh, in that sense. Mm. Look, look at these numbers. Jake Mayer mm. had a pretty big night. But I, I, Bo also showed well. I think for if you're a Hamilton Tiger Cat fan, you feel pretty good about what Bo did. But here's how I would, if we were to compare the two and say who came out better, I would describe it like this. Bo Levi Mitchell played well. Jake played well, but also the Calgary offense around Jake yep. played well. And yep. that's the biggest difference. Yep. You saw yep. uh, DJ Mills play great. Bagleton caught, I think, everything that came to him. Same with Barnes. Bo, there were some guys that dropped some balls and didn't help Bo out. So that's that's why I would compare this game. But when you look at the, the season, coming into the season, yeah. you look at Jake Mayer, you look at Bo Levi. We kind of have expectations. We even put a lot of expectations from Bo Levi returning to the, the man he used to be. But, Jake, there's not a lot that we could look back and say, man, this is who we're looking for again. And to that, tonight, I thought he showed a lot of things yeah, no to doubt. everybody across the league. Look, he gets out of the pocket, slings it downfield, and he's still able to be accurate over there. And he gets it back out here and looks downfield again anticipation like coach said earlier goes down the field and so I thought he did a great job of showing his skill set and uh, obviously now brought the win as well to his team yeah and there has to be some disappointment with Bo Levi Mitchell you know he wanted more than anything was to go back into the place where he established his career and get a victory play well but more importantly get a victory and that wasn't the case and he played well, but there was some letdown, as you mentioned. You know, his receivers did not help him out. There were plenty of opportunities for those guys to make some plays, not just catches, but touchdowns that would have had an opportunity to change his game around. Those guys didn't do it. And you talk about Tim White. This was the leading receiver in the league last year. Nine out of ten times he's making that catch. And this young man right here, yes, we know he's a rookie, but you only get so many opportunities to showcase your skills and have an opportunity to make plays. So they're going to go back to the drawing board. I think they're still a good enough team where they can win some games, but they have to mentally get over this uh, this this loss they had because they had some great opportunities to win. I don't I don't often like to go to the you know guys say they came into camp in better shape, but you hear that everyone says that in the offseason. I think these two quarterbacks physically they actually both look better, like they're in better yep. shape. Yep. Uh, so that, that's a good sign too. Yeah, no doubt. Well, when you look at it, I mean, uh, as far as these quarterbacks are concerned. It was actually Hamilton's offense that had 100 yards more, so there was some for Bo mm -hmm. to build on. A little bit of feast and famine. He had the drops. Yeah. He also missed some receivers at times. As for Calgary now, they go from this game, they improve to 1-0. Next week, they get to play in front of 55,000 at BC Place.